disclosure, it is raining. It is. You can probably hear that. Welcome to this dark and stormy night. Welcome. We said we weren't going to do that. <laughs> Do we? We agreed. I agreed. I didn't agree. I did. <laughs> well, this is a two-way street. Like, you can't decide on everything. Hey, I don't believe in two-way streets. In life or in roads. <laughs> <laughs> so you just... A road goes... <laughs> <word. laughs> you... No you turns You just have to... <laughs> I'm so late. <laughs> Who's got a, you know, like Crash Bandicoot? Yeah. What? Oh, like like on a race course? Yeah. We um we have a we have a new controller, so Maybe we, we can, should play Crash Bandicoot. Like right now? <laughs> yeah. No, fuck the podcast. <laughs> no, like we'll keep recording. But oh, show it. <laughs> okay. Well, you play, and I'll and I'll tell you the story of the Odyssey. How about that? That actually sounds really good. <laughs> All right, Wait, so we can't do that. No, I know. Yeah. Last week we did. We shouldn't think Iliad. about it because then we'll just get disappointed. Shut up. Yeah. We did Iliad. Wait, we need to tell them what the podcast is. Brad, P- oh, we do. Um, this is a literature with Sandy and Sam. Okay, now last week, <laughs> last week we did the Iliad starring Brad Pitt, mm-hmm. and now we're gonna do the Odyssey starring Sean Bean. Yeah. And he probably dies because that's just Sean Bean. Like, but the whole thing's about him. it's a spoiler costing Sean Bean and anything because you're like you got, like Donald Sutherland well here's the thing because he's just gonna die he didn't die in the Iliad he might I mean everyone dies eventually yeah but, <laughs> so he, but he didn't die in the thing right yeah I know and I just realized I watched Silent Hill and he's in it and he didn't die either Silent Hill like the like the computer game got turned into a movie in 2006 oh my god was it good it's pretty spoopy. It's one of the first movies that spooked me really as a child. It's a really spoopy game. I know the the visuals are pretty like the it goes for two hours and it could literally be cut down to an hour and a half because so much exposition happens at the end and then you're like, Whoa, so I'm drowning. <laughs> they could have they could have foreshadowed it a little bit. You could have just done it better. Like that's that's my takeaway from it. But and there's some pretty scary visuals like um. And old mate Pyramid Head makes an appearance. Oh, he's creepy, yeah. And if you don't know what Pyramid Head is, it is pretty self-explanatory. It's got a pyramid for a head. Anyway, yeah. so Sean Bean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so... Does this direct follow from the yes, Iliad? Yes, kind of. It's like a sequel. Right. Yeah. We're Troy, starring Brad Pitt as Troy. To have a sequel, it would probably be this. It would be based on the Odyssey. I'm glad they didn't make it because then Brad Pitt wouldn't be in it. Well, did you know there's actually a mini series? Was Brad Pitt in that? No. Don't want to watch no, it. No, there was no one important was in that. Don't want to watch it. Done. Well, let me tell you about it instead then. Oh, I don't want to. Hmm. Okay, well, that's just not. <laughs> oh. I guess it's time to go home. We did have dinner, so we can't. We can. did. It's another 10 years since the fall of Troy. Oh, and time jump. Yeah. And Odysseus still hasn't made it home to his kingdom of Ithaca, so he's been gone for 20 years. Wait, who's Odysseus again? Sean Bean. I'm sorry. I was thinking about Oedipus Rex. <laughs> I was like, who's the mom? <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that's a different story. We should do it sometime then. Fuck her mom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Sing to me of the man, muse, the man of twists and turns. Driven time and again off course, once he had plundered the hallowed heights of Troy. Many cities of men he saw and learned their minds. Many pains he suffered, heartsick, on the open sea, fighting to save his life and bring his comrades home. All the other heroes of Troy have made it home, with the obvious exception of all the ones who died. <laughs> <laughs> that means our boy Odysseus has been on the road for a total of 20 years. What? Yeah. Because remember, I go home, there are no two way streets. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone all the way around the world. Do you remember that movie Around the World in 80 Days with Jackie Chan? With Jackie Chan, and I do. Wilson? When Odysseus left, his wife Penelope to go to fight for Agamemnon, their only son, Telemachus, was a tiny baby. Aww. Now he's a 20 year old dude. That's, yeah. So naturally, most of Greece is presuming Odysseus is dead at this point. His ship must have sunk or something somewhere along the way. And now, all the eligible young men and the eligible old men are thinking, hey, Penelope is going to have to marry again. If she does not, but it, sure. It's the widow rules, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Um, so a whole bunch of suitors, let's say 30 Oh my god, does he come back home and she's straight up getting married to someone and he, like, objects? Like, <laughs> like Shrek? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Different references. <laughs> <laughs> no, Brendan Urie and I'm Irish. 
tragedies. Both apt. (laughs) (laughs) Brennan, you already got the idea from Shrek, didn't you? Didn't you know Um, about that? I'm trying to think of what came first, and I realized Shrek was 2001, so. Yeah. Alright. I guess like the chicken or the Shrek. (laughs) Shrek is the ultimate, like, master post. (laughs) LP. No. Uh, Anyway, Penelope. Goddamn. So a whole bunch of suitors, let's say 30, have basically invited themselves over to Odysseus's house to pay court to her. Dude, no. And they're rowdy, and yeah, I know. They're rowdy, and they're rude, and they keep feasting every night, eating all of Odysseus's pigs and goats. Oh, no. <laughs> I wrote here, Homer's real burned up about this. He mentions it at every opportunity. <laughs> like, they're eating all the pigs. Homer's- Why don't they eat their own pigs? Homer's like not right you know <laughs> i'm telling the story but it's not right <laughs> um, i like to imagine that someone was at his a house eating all his pigs <laughs> and he wrote this entire story it's like a passive aggressive oh my god like me, message to them like when we were in that room with that awful person and then we had the joke book and i as she came in and i wrote down um, <laughs> sketch idea this is an old housemate of mine yes sketch idea a woman ruins everything <laughs> Just by existing, by existing. <laughs> I think that's something like that. We can get the old joke book out. But oh, we should. Special episodes, <laughs> all the jokes we wrote, we wrote in that little blue book while we were high. In and my sober laundry. sometimes, and sometimes sober on the tram, tram. <laughs> sober on the tram, and high in the laundry. <laughs> yes, title my album. Yeah, that's, that's an indie. I know, very Melbourne vibe. Yeah, but okay, look. As far as Penelope is concerned, she's already married. To whom? Odysseus. Oh, damn, she's loyal. Yeah, but she also can't tell them to go away according to the rules of Xenia, which is hospitality. Gross. So something like stranger. Xen Zen means stranger or something because that's the same root word as xenophobia. Huh? There you go. See, like in any given context, hospitality, just disgusting. Disgusting. I work in hospitality. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, it would be like if someone came into the burger joint where you work and they just started eating all of your pigs. My pigs? <laughs> they should go home and eat their own pigs. Well, what if they pay me? Well, these, but then, then it's not hospitality. But, okay. Well, that's just transactional. <laughs> it's very mercurial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, anyway. Yeah, so Telemachus is salty about the whole situation, but being only a young lad of 20. He's too young to fight them. He's not strong or experienced enough. But when he starts to think that his father is dead, Athena notices and heads on down, disguising herself as an old family friend called Mentor. That's his name. That's where we get the word Mentor from. Um, And tells him he's got to call a meeting because, you know, Mentor means like someone who helps you and teaches you and stuff. Yes, I know what the word Mentor means, Sandy. That's the position that kind of Mentor has for Telemachus, and that's why Mentor means what it means. Yes. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Yes, the first one. <laughs> of seven. <laughs> so Athena, as mentor, tells him he's got to call a meeting in the town the next day to order the, the, their banishment from the estate, which he does, but they call bullshit on him. Oh, no, you can Especially do that. Especially this guy. <laughs> you, yeah. you, you, did you know you can do that, like, any time? You can just call bullshit on anyone. That's very true. Anyway, they're like, no, you can't force this out until your mum picks one of us to marry. Yikes. They're also like, this is her fault. Um, she's leading us all on. And, and Tynus tells the assembly about a trick she played on them, where she was like, I've got to finish weaving my father-in-law's funeral shroud before I can commit to marrying one of you. He's not dead yet. He's just super old. And they were like, okay. But while she's weaving it during the day and everyone can see it, at night she sneaks in and secretly unravels it while everyone else is sleeping. Wait, what? What's she unraveling? A blanket? You weren't listening to me at all. It was a little bit. You're just taking photos of the dog. <laughs> it's good promo. It's good material. You know what's good promo, Sam? Having a good podcast where everyone listens. But then how are they going to listen if there's no promo? Okay. Wait, no. What was she under? I just need the, the context The funeral of that. shroud. Oh, her, yeah. Her, her father-in-law. Dad's, her, so her Odysseus' dad. Laertes is super old. He's going to die any day. Oh, He's on okay. his way out. She's like, I'll weave the funeral shroud. Oh, I, I get it. Okay. And then she said she, after she does it, she'll fucking choose someone. But then when she, at night, she's like, hey, I unweave. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. Exactly. I got it. I got it. You got it. 
I'm there. I just uh, the beauty of paying attention. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> So eventually one of her ladies in waiting spills the beans. Oh fuck, what? I know, what a bitch. And everyone is outraged. And Antinous is like, if she can't choose a man to marry, she should be sent back to her father and he can choose one for her. Ew. Yeah. Telemachus tells him not to talk about his mom that way. <laughs> and then he calls upon the gods for vengeance. <laughs> At that moment, a pair of eagles appear in the sky, locked in combat. Whoa. It's a sign. <laughs> <laughs> Nature, right? Are we the eagles? No, we're snakes <laughs> no, we're somewhere. The snake. We're just looking at the eagles like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Check those out. <laughs> um, the local soothsayer is happening by and it's like, what? Happening by? <laughs> it's just like, what? Oh, <laughs> you guys know what that means, right? <laughs> Here I go on my daily soothsayer walk. <laughs> just saying some soothes. <laughs> you know me, you gotta say the soothes. <laughs> <laughs> you got some soothes to say. <laughs> <laughs> and then... The eagles, yeah. Yeah, um, and he's like, you guys know what that means, right? Odysseus isn't dead, and he is going to come back, and he's going to kick all your asses. Wait, I'm sorry. What is this reference text for knowing what the eagles mean when they fight? <laughs> like how does, is he's it got like, like a little dream yeah, diary full of symbols. Like, like, reading tea leaves. He's just like, two eagles, Odysseus, okay. <laughs> who, uh, who gave him the right? <laughs> he's a soothsayer. I can say sooth. It's like, who yeah, is- say a sooth. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, nobody is listening to Telemachus, so he follows Athena's advice. And Every he goes, time you say Telemachus, I just keep thinking you're saying Telemarketer. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, some people call him Telemachus, which is probably correct, actually. Maybe you suck. Maybe you suck. I said maybe <laughs> use that. Oh, they said maybe you suck. I was like, maybe you have a fucking book. God. She really depends. Is this our first fight? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is it? Is this a fight? I just I, you just misheard me, <laughs> and then you got riled up, <laughs> saying your suits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he goes to Pylos and Sparta, where he hooks up with Nestor and Menelaus, respectively. You remember them from the last book? Can I get a refresh? <laughs> <laughs> um, Nestor was the oldest king and the wisest king. Who came up with all the plots and stuff okay. that Odysseus didn't come up with, obviously. Mm. And Menelaus is the king of Sparta, oh. whose wife, Helen. Helen, yeah. Le- yeah, okay. Um, and Kruger. And he, like, he fought Paris, and then Paris <laughs> ran away. Yeah, yeah, you remember. Oh, so boy. anyway, he's at Nestor's house, and Nestor's like, well, we split up at the end of the war. Apparently Agamemnon and Menelaus had a falling out right at the end. Nestor went with Menelaus and Odysseus went with Agamemnon. So he's like, I can't tell you any more than that. But he can tell Telemachus that Agamemnon got killed as soon as he got home. What? By his wife and her lover. Ooh. So she took a lover while he was away at war. Yes. And then when he gets home, they both kill him. How'd they kill him? Do we know? In a nefarious plot. I don't know. Oh. Probably just like stab him or something, right? Poison? I think it's poison. Yeah, it's usually poison. Then Orestes, Agamemnon's son, killed them both. Nice. And Nestor's Oh, wait, no, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, in revenge for his father. Jesus Christ. And Nestor holds him up as, like, an example for Telemachus. Like, look at this dude honoring his... Dad. Family, father and his family. Just the dad, really? He killed his yeah. mom. Yeah, well, the mom killed the dad, so... Well... If your mom killed your dad... Do you have two moms? No. <laughs> <laughs> two sets... One set of footprints <laughs> carried you on his back. <laughs> Then, when Telemachus meets Menelaus in Sparta, Menelaus tells him the story of the Trojan horse. Oh. And how Odysseus sort of led it. He, and he's like, did you hear about this cool stuff your father did? You know, the horse? And he pretended it wasn't, like, it wasn't people on the horse, but there were people on the horse. And then, <laughs> Why would they just accept the horse anyway? <laughs> like, wouldn't you be like, why are you giving me a horse? I don't know. Maybe yeah. the Trojans are just trusting. Or maybe they just really wanted the horse. Maybe it was super cool. It was super cool. <laughs> They were like, fuck yes. I well, no, because like, they thought it was left. Um, I think, don't at me, but I think it was left. Don't at her. As <laughs> like a tribute to their gods. And the church was like, fuck you. We're going to put it in our god's temple. And it can be a tribute to him instead. All I remember is we were snakes and Killian Murphy was there. <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, oh, yeah. So I. What would you do? I would cast Telemachus. As Zac Efron. <laughs> okay. From like 
like early Zac Efron, like oh, seventeen again. I was Zac gonna Efron. say Chad Michael Murray, like in oh. a Cinderella story. It's like it's your dream, Dad. You know? <laughs> no, but he loves his dad. Oh, he loves his dad. That's I don't know. Nice. I just like because he's supposed to be like a bit, like cute but not strong. Cute but not strong. So, like Finn Wolfhard, maybe now he's not twenty. Anyway, Zac Efron, he's so strong. <laughs> he is now, but he wasn't back then. Um, he had his head in the game. Yeah, well, that's what that's why I think he should be tell. Telemarcus needs to get his head in the game. <laughs> okay, all right. So <laughs> Troy Bolton, Troy Bolton is Telemarcus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. I can okay. get on board with that. Okay. Now that I know Troy Bolton's in there somewhere. Took us a while to get here, but we're here now. Troy Bolton. Watkins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Watkins. <laughs> Meanwhile, the suitors in Ithaca hear about Telemarcus's voyage, and and Tynus decides he's become too dangerous, and they're going to ambush him and kill him when he gets back. What? He hasn't even done anything. <clears throat> and that's where we leave them for the time being on that what? cliffhanger. What? No. And we cut to Odysseus. Oh, yeah. What has happened to Odysseus this whole time? You know what I think? This is, okay. He's on a ship somewhere and he's just chilling. Well, he's not. Oh, you know what? He wrote Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We cut to Odysseus. He's being held prisoner by a beautiful ocean nymph. Oh. <laughs> beautiful ocean nymph named Calypso. Ooh. How did he get here? Where are his crew? I wrote down this question. Um, Calypso fawns over him, giving him the nicest food and wine and clothes to wear. She's possessed by love for him and won't leave him. Won't let him leave. Good for him. But he just sits on the beach all day crying. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> just like looking out to sea. Just tears rolling down his rugged cheeks. <laughs> just crying. A l- Athena goes back up to Olympus and beseeches her dad Zeus to help him. Like, look at this poor, pathetic man. Uh, Zeus agrees. That was it. That was the whole... Why does Athena keep getting her? Oh, I guess he... gods are always just bored. Well, yeah, and I think she's, like, their patron. I think she just cares about their family. That's like, nice above family. all. Wow. Not above all, but, like, especially. They're, like, her special... Her little pets. Yeah. Zeus agrees and sends Hermes to Calypso to tell her to let Odysseus go. Yeah, just let him go, man. Which she does, although she has a good bitch about how when male gods take mortal lovers, it's fine, but when female gods do it, everybody loses their shit. Ah. And she's like, got a good point there. But yeah. regardless, she helps him build a raft and kits him out with food and wine for the journey. Oh, dope. Yeah. Give him a boat, a raft? Yeah. <laughs> no, what is this castaway nonsense? <laughs> It's going okay for a while, but eventually Poseidon catches on to the fact that Odysseus is trying to get home, and he sends a storm to wreck Odysseus' Why ship. Why is Poseidon angry? You'll figure it out later. Um. That's actually a mystery that's going to get solved. Oh. He sees the mouth of the river, and he prays to it. Remember how rivers are <laughs> Billy Crystal? <laughs> yeah, we're in there. Yeah. <laughs> we're in there. We're like, oh, look. <laughs> it's Odysseus. Man, it's been 10 years. Yeah, we're just chilling. <laughs> we're fine. Snakes don't die. Yeah. Oh, that should be on a, like a patch. <laughs> Snakes <Yeah>. don't die. <laughs> they do. Hey. And the river is like, yeah, bro, we cool. And Odysseus lands safely at last on the Phaeacian shore. What? It's land shape for shore? Phaeacian. What's Phaeacian? It's their nation. They're like a seafaring oh. nation. Yeah. That night, the Phaeacian princess Nausicaa sleeps in her bed. And yeah. Athena sends her a dream. And the dream is like, you really, really need to do laundry. And she wakes up feeling like she really, really needs to do laundry. So she asks her dad for a car to take all her laundry down to the river. So he gives her one because she does really need to do laundry. Oh my God, I feel so attacked. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, she brings a couple of maids with her. And it's all very pastoral and idyllic. And they're splashing and there's giggling. And I there's thought they were just asleep. Hair being, no, this is the next day. Her dad, And then her dad gives it one. Oh, she woke up. Okay, yeah, yeah. I thought she was still in bed. It's like no, two no, in the she, morning. She's it, like, all right, I gotta wash my fucking clothes. All right. She wakes. <laughs> so she has to dad for a cut. <laughs> she's taking all the laundry. <laughs> she's taking her dad to the river. She's a princess. Doesn't she have like a servant to do her laundry? You know, the maids come with. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's she. The women are the servants back then. She's a prince. Then suddenly. This dirty, naked old man. Mean. <laughs> Walks out of the bushes and is like, hey, so don't freak out. Can I have some clothes? <laughs> he asks her for help. <laughs> okay, so don't freak out. That's how I want anyone to enter a room at any given time. 
Just then I feel like that's exactly how to freak someone out. <laughs> you tell them that. Like, they're like, why? Why should I not be freaking out about it? <laughs> so she lets him wash himself off and gives him some robes to put on. Meanwhile, Athena puts a kind of spell on him to make him super hot. Which wow. is cool. I don't know. To make the girls all want to help him. <laughs> uh, she turned him into Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm interested. <laughs> Troy Bolton and Brad Pitt. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Sign me up for the next war. Grandma <laughs> 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 Mulan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so she doesn't want to cause a scene by returning with him. She doesn't want like the town to talk like, oh, the princess went out. Yeah, I Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, man, that guy looks a lot like Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> so she gives him directions and instructions to come a little while after her to supplicate to her mother, the Queen Arete. So he gets there, the palace is ballin', gold, silver, bronze, you name it, they got it. They're a seafaring nation, and they're in the middle of holding a festival to Poseidon. Oh no! Which is a little awkward, but it's all good, yeah. because Athena has hidden Odysseus in a mist until he makes it to the palace. Oh, I love it when and they hide people it. in mist. <laughs> yeah, and he falls at Arete's feet, you know, and that, like, with the knee and the oh, chin. Oh my god, the thing we did, yeah. <laughs> And um, and everyone's like, whoa, where did he come from? He <laughs> the <in> Mist. Do <laughs> you ever watch that movie, The Mist? The Mist? No. Is it, they're in a shopping center or something. Yeah. Right? yeah a they're in a store. grocery store. Yeah. It's, it's known King. as one of the most um, devastating endings ever. Oh, really? Yeah, it's pretty devastating, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. Stephen King... It's a bit hit or miss with me. And this one's fine. Okay, good. And it's got... Because I just, like, he has great ideas and then he just doesn't... He gets pretty lazy, doesn't he? Yeah, follow through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Captain Holt is in it and he's, like, an angry straight man in this. Oh, that's weird. You know, I'm like... <laughs> he's supposed to be an angry gay man. I know. <laughs> but, um, it's pretty good. There's some creatures happening. There's a lot of the aforementioned mist. But yeah. But these can be there. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. <laughs> like, who knows what's in the mist, really? <laughs> Athena knows. <laughs> yes. So Odysseus puts his arms around Arete's knees, as you'll recall, and asks her for help getting home. And she's like, of course, dog. Join us for dinner. Dog? <laughs> D-A-W-G. Yeah. Cats dog. That's how I spelled it. Did you actually? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my fucking God. Um, <laughs> Odysseus withholds his name this whole time, but he still manages to explain why he's wearing Nausicaa's clothes and tells them most of the truth about how he ended up shipwrecked in their country. And they're so impressed, they say he can marry Nausicaa if he feels like it, and he's if already... If he feels like it! <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want. I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> but he's already so married. But he agrees to hang with them. So married. <laughs> he's so married. He is very married. <laughs> but he agrees to hang with them for a while because they've got some sweet games on for the festival. Oh, dope. Like Crash? Yes. No, remember like the funeral um, games yeah, that we have before? Like throwing that I'm going to throw for you, discus. Thank and you. Shot put. I'm so excited to die. <laughs> <laughs> that should be on a shirt. <laughs> so excited to die. Oh, at one of the feasts before the, the games, a blind bard named Demodocus, oh, no. which sounds like a dinosaur. It really does. Sings about a quarrel between Odysseus and Achilles during the Battle of Troy. <laughs> And everyone enjoys it except Odysseus, who just starts crying <laughs> awkwardly, trying to hide it with his cape. That's real. That's real. He's like this, like he's like I'm cold. <laughs> like, oh. There's just something in my eye. <laughs> the king notice notices, but he plays it cool and starts the games. Someone asks Odysseus to compete, and he says no thanks, and they call him a chicken. And he loses his shit, like Marty McFly. Oh my style. god, I was gonna say that. <laughs> God. Um, but the king calms everyone down. Then there's another feast, and Demodocus sings about Ares and Aphrodite's affair, which is actually very funny. And I didn't write it down here, but basically, like, Aphrodite's married to Hephaestus, and Hephaestus is like the humpback, the scar of okay. kind of, um, and he's the god of the making things. The Notre Dame? No, okay. The, yeah, he's the god of Notre Dame <laughs> in France, which, which exists. So he, he's the god of the forge. He like he, he, he makes armor and he's like a craftsman and stuff. And uh, uh, Aphrodite was like sold to him in marriage. Um, but she thinks Ares is super hot and they have this affair and he finds out. And then he catches them and traps them mm. in um, having sex in his bed. Okay. And then like he brings all the gods to see them. <laughs> he's like, look, he's look like, at this. Look at him fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> look at this shit. 
Um, and everyone, all the other gods think it's very, very, very funny. Yeah, why would you show them that? That's so embarrassing for him. For for Quasimodo, yeah. No, it's embarrassing for his wife. No, it's embarrassing for him. Like another know. man's fucking his wife. I don't know. I think it's. I think it's. Um, because he caught them and trapped them. And then he had to show it. No, he did it on purpose. He's like, look at these fucking. <laughs> it kind of sounds like that episode of um, Grey's Anatomy when this divorced couple got stuck while they were having sex because the guy had like a um, a Prince Albert piercing and oh. the woman had like a. What are they called? Those you know, IUD? IUDs and they got like hooked on each other. That's and, so funny. And the funny thing is, the woman was like fucking 50 or something. Bitch, you don't need an IUD. Mm-hmm. Then Odysseus asks Demodocus to sing about the Trojan horse plot. <laughs> He's like, sing something nice about me. I meant Odysseus, whoever that guy is. <laughs> but he breaks down again. <laughs> and everyone is like, what's your deal? <laughs> and he finally admits who he is. Side note the conflation of Demodocus the blind bard with homer probably started the rumor that homer was blind there's a rumor that homer was blind you know on that i remember going yeah. to the waffle place and i was just like i was really high and just so out of it and i was like to this poor woman i was just like what's the difference between chocolate and nutella <laughs> I was just like, for, the, <laughs> for like the life of me, I was like, they're the same thing. <laughs> and she, this is how she explained it. She's like, well, the chocolate is chocolate. <laughs> and the Nutella is Nutella. <laughs> really? She wasn't like hazelnut. I, I don't know, probably. But And I, then chocolate is she was just, chocolate. <laughs> she was just like, what's your deal, Odysseus? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you crying over the song? <laughs> it's not Fix You by Coldplay. You oh know my god. <laughs> what if it was? <laughs> fix Fuck. You Trojan Horse in parentheses. <laughs> so everyone's like, whoa, tell us everything. And he's like, no. And they're like, yes. And he's like, okay. So the next third or so of the poem is actually in first person. So it's Odysseus recounting how we've gotten to this point. Oh my god, we basically got a recap of the first book in this Well, book. no, no, it's not the first book. It starts when the first book ends. Oh. So remember how they plonked us ten years later? Yeah, He's like, I'm okay, done. this is what's been happening in the last ten years. And this is the part with the stories everyone recognizes. Trojan horse? No. <laughs> That's the only thing I recognize. Okay, so he's left Troy, right? And the winds sweep him and his men to Ismaris, the city of... Sikonis? Sure. Sikonis? Which they pillage, but they enjoy it a little too much, and they stay a little too long until the Sikonis reinforce their army and drive them away, well, killing six men per ship. So he's down a few men. Well, good. Stop pillaging. Just Zeus go home. sends a storm now. I can't remember why. I think they forgot to sacrifice to him or something. <laughs> um, which blows them nine days, of course, before they come to the land of the Lotus Eaters. So right. two of Odysseus's men go ashore to, like, scout. Sure. For clean water or something. And they get hooked on this lotus fruit, which makes them forget their mission to get home and desire for nothing except more fruit to eat. It's basically like opium, but like a fruit. It's like a drug, but a fruit. Odysseus drags them back to the ship and locks them up where I assume they detox and get on their way again. Oh, a little rehab. <laughs> little ship rehab. <laughs> Did anyone else try the fruit? No, I think it was just those two. <laughs> But I think, like, all the lotus eaters were, like, like, lying around. That just sounds like a fun island. Yeah. But not if you want to go home. Why would you want to go home if you've got opium? Well, exactly. So they sail through the night and eventually come to the land of the Cyclops. Oh, no. A barbaric, or Cyclopes, a barbaric race of one-eyed giants. Oh. Except not barbaric, I assume, because they speak Greek. And if I recall correctly, the origin of the word barbarians was to note people who didn't speak Greek and who, like, barred like goats. Fun fact. Very fun. <laughs> <laughs> when they go ashore on a little island off the mainland, the men find some actual wild goats, which they capture before crossing to the mainland. There, they immediately find a cave full of sheep and crates of milk and cheese. Yay. Nice. I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Odysseus's bros recommend they grab the shit and go, but Odysseus is, like, curious, and he wants to check the place out. <sighs> Unfortunately, the Cyclops, who lives in the cave, his name's Polyphemus, arrives home. Oh, no. They watch him slide a huge boulder across the mouth of the cave. Oh, no. They're trapped. Um, Read his size. It's pretty clear from the text that he's a giant. 
He's described as like a mountain that has trees growing on it. It's pretty big, yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty big dude. But I don't know how much of that's like metaphor and how much, like, does he actually have trees growing on him? How big is he actually? Well, Homer's blind, so what does he know? <laughs> he probably thinks a mountain's like this big. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at those mountains. Homer's like, describe them to me. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, kind of big, and they're like, <laughs> Cyclops equals mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. How big are trees? <laughs> yeah, like the, the size of the Cyclops himself is kind of clear from the feats of strength that he's, he's described as accomplishing, yeah, he's a huge like with dude. a huge boulder and stuff. He's swole. He's, he has gains. Oh my god, remember that. Remember? Just everyone, all the boys doing the same gains. Going to the gym, saying gains? I don't remember. Don't they still say that? We hung out with very different boys. Yeah, I suppose. Hung out with theater boys. I did. Yeah, they would not be just swole effeminate or and and manipulative. S- and letter sending. <laughs> letter. <laughs> they didn't send anything. It was hand delivered. Oh yeah. Well, they said that via hand. <laughs> <laughs> hand mail. <laughs> Mouth mail. That's just talking. <laughs> At first, Polyphemus the Cyclops makes a show of hospitality, but it isn't long before he eats two of Odysseus's men. How many of them are in there? Like, ten. Oh. <laughs> it's like he counted. You're like, ten. I clearly just made that up, but like, ten-ish, right? Yeah. Oh no, he's eating them. Yeah. Did I say that? You just Oh yeah, said I just it. said that. You literally said, I was oh. Like, I was like, oh, how'd you know? I was about to tell you. No, I just told you. <laughs> So he's like full, just like us. We're so full. We're so full. Sam made us roast chicken. I did not make the roast chicken. Hot potato mash. Well, why would it be cold? <laughs> Could be. Toffee carrot. You know why I said that? It was just because of the Wiggles song, Hot Potato. I it's didn't grow up with mind. the Wiggles. Oh, never mind then. I grew up with Sesame Street. Me too. I grew up in... I get it. You're you're international. I can't. You're jet setter. As a baby, your passport was stamped. (laughs) Apparently, if I go to America next year with Josh, why are you going to America? They might stop me at the border because I never returned my green card. (laughs) Oh, they could. Yeah. Why are you going to America with Josh? Um, he. This is so embarrassing. Oh yes, please. he might be competing in an international slam poetry competition in America. <laughs> yeah, it's being held in Dallas, well, so yeah. he kind of needs me to go with him so he doesn't get shot. That's true. It is Dallas, and it is Josh, <laughs> and everyone does have a gun. It's like it's not even because he's brown; it's just because he's loud. <laughs> Honestly, if you heard that laugh elsewhere, you would think it's like automatic, like machine gun yeah, fire. That's true. We'll have him on the podcast one day, and then people can hear. Yeah. That's only if we've got like professional equipment that won't break. <laughs> that can we'll just put him in the corner of the room. And <laughs> we'll hear him. Yeah, we will. Oh, we go to America. Go to um, bed, body, bu- bed, bed, bath, bath and, and beyond, beyond, and get me some of the um. Oh no, I'm thinking about the other one, the body one, and they've got body lotions. Body works. The body shop. We have the not body, body shop. shop. Bed, no. B- bath body. <laughs> Get your bath body. <laughs> bath bodies for sale. <laughs> you want a body bath? It's different from like a hand bath. <laughs> a soul what bath. What do you do? Body and soul baths. But I literally just want the cucumber and melon moisturizer to spray. Okay. It smells like I'll find cucumber it for you. and melon. It's a great combo. It's refreshing. It sounds really nice. Like watermelon? Like um no, melon. If I said rock melon? If it's watermelon, I would have said watermelon. Well, okay. I said cucumber and melon. Just like, melon. Well <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> it's and Dizzy is wants to kill Polyphemus. Well yeah, he But just... he knows that that would trap them in the cave because none of them are strong enough to move the rock. So they're just meant to pretend to be cool that he ate two of his men and be like, that's okay, dude, they suck anyway. <laughs> or did he happen to eat the men that were like hooked on the lotus flower and it knocks him out? Because they still got <laughs> That some... would be such a plot twist, but that doesn't happen. Unfortunately. Or they're all not, like... o- not only is he blind physically, he's blind like <laughs> creatively. <Yeah. laughs> he's also creatively blind. <laughs> like that's, that's a big call. <laughs> 
the next day, while Polyphemus is out a herding, Odysseus finds a branch in the cave which he sharpens and hardens in the fire. When Polyphemus gets back, Odysseus and the boys get him drunk. They brought wine with them for some reason. And oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they start chatting with him. He's just getting a little tipsy. They're like, what's the password for the cave? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if you want. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So Polyphemus asks Odysseus' his name, and Odysseus says his name is Nobody. I love Game of Thrones. <laughs> wait, what? You know when it's like... Oh, no one is... Wait, yeah, like the dude... What, Jack and Hagar? Yeah. A man is... is yeah, that was a man, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> meant to be a sure. throwaway comment, all right? You yeah. don't have to go into we, it. You can edit out my reaction. You know what? Edit out the whole episode. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm in my home. You're going home. <laughs> Get out. From my home. <laughs> Polyphemus gets white girl wasted and passes out, white which girl. Odysseus <laughs> takes as an opportunity to grab the sharpened branch and stab his eye out, blinding him. Because remember, he's a slime. Because Homer's blind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a cyclops. That's yeah, he's a cyclops. He is we, were, we were both getting. <laughs> we there. were both right. Yes. So Polyphemus wakes up, as you might think he would. I, I don't think he could wake up now. He has no eye. He could. You can wake up without eyes. He can't see. Homer wasn't writing this when he was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> just like he had the sleep recorder app that I had. <laughs> and he was just like, yeah, there's some sea snakes. <laughs> he wakes up, he starts screaming, prompting his Cyclops neighbors to come over. Cyclops neighbors. Yeah, he has Cyclops neighbors. Mm-hmm. Um, to come over to his cave entrance rock and call out if he's okay. Polyphemus, because he's an idiot, yells, nobody is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and the other Cyclopeans, because they're idiots, assume this means that he's fine. <laughs> nobody's killing me. <laughs> like, oh, I guess nobody's <laughs> killing me. <him." laughs> I'm just screaming. <laughs> and they're like, he's in one of his moods. <laughs> And they're just like, well, it's Sunday. Keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> we got work in the morning. They leave him alone. Um, when the morning comes, Odysseus and the boys, this time I spelled it with a Z, nice. escape thanks, <laughs> by holding on under the bellies of Polyphemus' sheep. Because he's, like, feeling each animal as it goes out and so he can, like, find if they try and sneak out with the sheep. He's like, I'll find you. I'll be on the field. Because I'm blind now. That poor sheep. It's just like, meh. <laughs> Bat. <laughs> Bah. <laughs> like, bah, bah. Bah. <laughs> Once the lads are safe on board with a bunch of the sheep, Odysseus calls out to Polyphemus to make sure he knows he just got beaten. Bad move. And Polyphemus starts hurling huge rocks at them. And Odysseus' shipmates are begging him to cut it out. But Odysseus keeps aiming him on. Why? Sean. And foolishly, he says his own name, something like, Odysseus is the one who will beat you. <laughs> type of thing. Why? <laughs> which was a bad move. I don't, like, it's called, let's talk about kleos, which is the Greek word for, like, glory. Which, which for them was, like, spreading your name throughout the world through your good deeds. So, like, you would, it was important for your name to be attached to your deeds. Right? Sure. But also, he's a fucking idiot because now I don't know if you already knew this, but Polyphemus is the son of Poseidon. Uh, yeah. Wait, why do Poseidon got some cyclop ass baby? <laughs> I don't know. I think he fucked a monster. <laughs> he fucked a cyclop lady. Maybe. Or he fucked like I don't know something else. But it's like just huge crazy. water dick. <laughs> I might. I imagine him to be like made. Of he's made water. out of water. Apparently, he has blue hair. They call, they say he's blue hair sometimes. From the water. So he's like an anime. <laughs> <laughs> he has blue hair. He wasn't like other boys. Oh my god. Did you ever watch a movie Poseidon? The one with Emmy Rossum? No. And, you know, they're, and Andrew Brewer is in it again. He's a captain of the ship. Um, they're on a ship called Poseidon. Mm-hmm. It starts to sink. They have to get out. It's great. Kurt Russell <laughs> Poseidon there. just wanted to be in the ocean. <laughs> Actually, it's great. They have to, like, tightrope across flames at some point. Where's the flames? On the ocean? In the boat. Mm. In the ship. Okay. Things are... Because it's, like, a huge... Like, it's a huge ship, so there's fire in there. You know, there's gas. <laughs> oh, it's like a, like a modern... 
ship with like yeah no engine it's, it's not your like goddamn period piece it's not a okay. real oh, it's a period piece, piece right because Poseidon no no it's like 2004 fuck my bad you I don't know why I just thought it was, I just thought it was like Titanic but with Emmy Ross instead. Titanic, they still have okay. fire there. Yeah, that's what. But that's a period piece though. Still, even though engines exist. <laughs> 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 All right. So he says his name, and then okay, he's so like, now he's just pissed off the god of the ocean right before a super long sea voyage. Yeah. Anywho, the next place they wash up is the shores of the of Aeolus, who is the ruler of the winds. Oh, no. Who luckily is a super chill guy. Oh. He helps them on their way by giving Odysseus a bag of all the winds, making what? sure to only keep the westerly wind out of the bag so that, to help them get back home, right? Because they need to go due west. He's like, keep all the other winds secure, and you have the west wind, and it'll take you home. I just gave him some wind, sure. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Odysseus's men aren't privy to this information. Yes, you are and they just see the bag and they think Aeolus has given Odysseus some sparkly treasure or something. Why By doesn't now, he tell them? Men, it's wind. He, he's, don't touch them. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch the wind bag. <laughs> Men. <laughs> Do you see this bag? <laughs> it is not full of treasure, as you may think. It's the wind. It is merely the wind. <laughs> <laughs> like you could have come in carrying the bag like wow 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 before you get any idea. Wait, is it like I think it's like a little bag. No. <laughs> you could, like you remind me like a Santa sack. <laughs> it's, like, it's wind! And then like a little like little purse, like a velvety pouch. I thought it was like a Santa sack, it's like before you get any ideas. Anyone who like to dig it around my sack? It's wind. <laughs> wind. <laughs> wind. Um, he doesn't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, what about us? I want treasure. <laughs> I want treasure. <laughs> Give me some of that treasure. You know in National Treasure, they say the word treasure so many times. <laughs> like you forget Is it a word. treasure? What is it? So, have you never seen National Treasure? Is it multiple? Treasure? No, I haven't. Oh you haven't God. seen <laughs> National Treasure? <laughs> <laughs> it's Nicolas Cage. My my man. This isn't... Dude, there's so much the wrong de- history in there. <laughs> this isn't the Declaration of Independence. It is merely a bag of wind. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, no, we got to watch that. Okay, 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 okay. Justin Bartha? Mr. Oh, John Voight's in it. I, I have no idea who these people are. I'm so Diane sorry. Kruger? Oh, I know Diane Kruger. By now, they're within side of Ithaca. Sorry, that was a massive typo. I had to, like, figure out what I said. Um, they're almost home. What did you write? They're wishing side of Ithaca. Within. They're almost home, but then these guys open oh, the bag, the and all the winds get out. The winds get out, and they stir up a storm. Why did that guy give him a bag of wind? Just don't give him the wind. Yeah, I don't know. Just keep the wind to yourself. Well, maybe he was meant to be able to use it like in future voyages as well. You'd be like, oh, the, we'll take out the north wind. <laughs> Leave the west wind. <laughs> Just like dig his hand. <laughs> <laughs> like this change in there, like jangling around. He's like, no, feels a bit too south for me. <laughs> Look at the north wind. So they actually, um, yeah, so the winds get out, stir up a storm that carries the ship far away again. Great. Yeah. They actually get blown all the way back to Aeolia. Oh my god. Aeolus refuses to help them this time. Who was that again? The guy who just gave them the wind. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, why did I give them the wind? Why are you back here? And he had to explain. And so he actually refuses to help him again this Why? time. Why? Come on. Because what Odysseus is deal? Because Odysseus is clearly carrying some like major bad juju. Like the gods are clearly n- not a fan of Odysseus and he doesn't want to fuck with that. He's just like oh, I'm not having it. Um but I like to also think he's just a bit annoyed that Odysseus didn't follow his instruction and fucked with the winds. <sighs> anyway. It was not that hard to be like, this is wind. <laughs> men. <laughs> men. <laughs> men. <laughs> men before he started rooting around. <laughs> I must warn you. <laughs> what? I- this is really the wind. Why is he French? 
You sound like uh, the chef from Ratatouille, <laughs> you know, the little angry the little one. <laughs> God damn. Anyway, so this means they now have no wind. No wind. No hoi hum. <laughs> <laughs> no wigwam. No way home. <laughs> no way home, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they don't have a wigwam either, but I don't see how that's relevant. Well, it'd be better if they had one. It would be better, but they're on the ocean. Um, so they have to row, which they do, all the way to the land of the Lestragonians. What the fuck? Lestragonians? I don't know. Sure. They're giants. Oh, God. Um, they end up sinking all of Odysseus's ships except one. So. I didn't even know he still had a few. Yeah. It's then crazy. after some more rowing, they land on this beautiful island. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. Just imagine the most beautiful island you can. Air conditioned mall. <laughs> <laughs> With those massage chairs, you put two dollars. <laughs> it was just like floating. It's got like like um, like what? like an airplane. <laughs> okay. Some of Odysseus's men go to scout it out, and as they get there, they're massively creeped out by the statistically anomalous amount of lions and tigers. Oh no. That come <gasps> up to it's Madagascar. <laughs> and they come up to them like excited dogs. Aww. Pawing at their I don't know, togas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wangs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Gladiator sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Armor. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, they come upon this beautiful house. I'm picturing like a gorgeous sandstone courtyard with like billowing linen curtains. You know, like, like curtains outside. Like Lana Del Rey's house in um, high, like in that music video. Hi, I'm the. Does she have like, uh, like pillars and there's curtains, but it's like outside. Sure, I guess. Outside I, curtains. I, I feel like that's a look. Hi, by the beach. I was like, hi, on the beach. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> with the beach. <laughs> Well, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. Like, this is obviously a magical lady, right? Yeah. Was, she oh, can... and out comes this beautiful woman. Oh, of course. Here she is. <clears throat> Circe. What? Spelt with C-I-R-C-E. Oh. She's probably carrying, like, a basket of some kind of fruit. I don't know. Like, She's like, you guys look thirsty. Hey, have some of my homemade lemonade made with real lemons. <laughs> she sounds great. <laughs> Except she's drugged it. <gasps> and they all turn into pigs. Even Odysseus? No, no, just the scouts. This is just scouts. Oh. And it's revealed that Cersei is a witch and all the animals on her island are men. She's bewitched. That's why they're like, help. <laughs> help. <laughs> this is a huge tiger. It's like, help. <laughs> you guys got any wind? <laughs> and then this is just like, damn it. <laughs> Should have just told them. <laughs> he was trying to be mysterious. He's like, I don't know what he thinks in the bag. <laughs> Then when he was sleeping, they just opened. Yeah, they did. That's why you gotta. That's the lesson. Just tell him. Tell him. Don't be so mysterious, Sean. <laughs> <B>. Men. <laughs> um. So when Odysseus goes to rescue them, Hermes swings past and tells him, "Hey, <laughs> so Circe's gonna try to poison you. Eat this herb so her drug won't work on you, and then she's gonna try to attack you. So you gotta lunge at her first with your sword and force her to turn your boys back into men." boys to men oh my god and um <laughs> coolly high harmony Odysseus is like okay and he does it why is Hermes helping him I don't know he was just happening by <laughs> like the stooth say he was like whoa <laughs> he's like well he's like what's happening here <laughs> he like bent down to tie up his like winged sandal he's <laughs> like oh Odysseus <laughs> No, he's like hey the, man, I have been meaning to talk to you. He's like the devil in um in Dorian Gray. And he's like wine flowers. Is that a he's like, witch I hear? <laughs> Someone say Huin Huin bag. Apparently, this is super hot, and he and huh? Cersei become lovers. Like when he's like draws his sword on her, she's like, "Hey, pig boy." <laughs> <laughs> shack up for like a year dude he's got a wife what about his other men they're just on the ship like is he coming back <laughs> <laughs> like 
<laughs> there's just like one super loyal like first mate like the second in command they're like maybe we should go home he's like no yeah like aren't they just on the ship Wait for, for the you? captain because isn't that no like- i think they all come ashore and they just live there oh. um eventually his men make him dump her so they can go home oh. but before they go she gives them a heads up about what's gonna happen what's gonna happen they have to sail to hades oh, my yeah favorite to ask the dead blind p- prophet Tiresias. A lot of blinds, Homer. <laughs> who will be able to tell them how to get home. They do that. And at first he talks to one of his crew. Um, I can't believe they stayed. A man that fell off Cersei's roof and broke his neck. Oh. I, just, I just can't get into That's it right now. That's a lawsuit waiting. <laughs> then they hook up with Tiresias, who tells him, who tells Odysseus that he's pissed off Poseidon. In case he hadn't figured it out yet. He did blind his Cyclops son. Yep. And he also fills him in on what's been happening at home with Penelope and Telemachus. Oh, yeah. Then he talks to his mum, who says she committed suicide while waiting for him to return. Oh. Youch, in brackets. <laughs> then, <laughs> How do you spell it? I want to see. With Y-E-O-W-C-H. Yeah. Youch. Then he's tired and he asks the Phaeacians, because remember he's telling the story? Oh, so, like, okay. Odysseus is telling the story. He's like, man, I'm tired. Can I go to bed? Can we talk about this in the morning? They're like, fuck no. Did you talk to Achilles? And he's like, yeah, I talked to Achilles. <laughs> and then he and then he explains how Achilles asked about his son, Neoptolemus. Uh, well, I was Remember like, last episode how I said he died childless? Lol, that wasn't true at all. That's how was he talking to these people again? Because he sailed to Hades. Oh. Because he was like looking a, for that dead blind prophet. Yeah. And so there's deads there. <laughs> yeah, the, the deads. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <I'm> deads. <laughs> So he had a bathroom. Man, his neighborhood's gone to shit ever since the dead's moved in. Why'd they move in? The dead. Is that someone in a cemetery? Yeah. Like a little dorm mouse? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just keeping you on your toes. How, um, how does what's his face know about the sun? Brad Pitt. Achilles. Yeah. He just asked it because he has, no, he has a son. The son was a tro- Tory with him. He just didn't come up in the Iliad for some reason. So he did have a son the whole time. <clears throat> he did. Oh. Yeah. I feel like that should have been mentioned. In the Iliad. Because remember, it was like, you'll die childless and alone. alone. No, yeah, it wasn't, you'll die childless and alone. It was just, you'll die. Childless and alone. Remember, if you stay. I said it, but I was lying. But, like, if you stay, you'll have children. Yeah, well, you'll be able to live out your days with them or something. Yeah, I guess. Anyway. The moral of the story is, don't make things up. Like, just tell them what's in the bag. <laughs> Odysseus then talks to Agamemnon, who bitches about how his wife murdered him for a bit. Remember how his wife yeah, murdered him? Yep. And then he tries to talk to Ajax, but Ajax blanks him because Odysseus beat him in a competition. Oh, 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 over Achilles. Little Ajax. Uh, th- alive? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm so lonely. Yeah, he has oh, no big Ajax. I made yet. myself sad. Oh. <laughs> oh. And mine. <laughs> Ajax blanks him because Odysseus beat him in a competition over Achilles' armor, yeah. which led to Ajax killing himself. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Ancient Greeks. So he doesn't feel like talking. <laughs> then Odysseus talks to Heracles, Minos, Orion, and all these other dudes before he remembers he has somewhere to be, and he gets <laughs> on his merry old way. He's just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's the time? <laughs> the next thing that will happen, according to Cersei, and that does, is that they will run into the sirens. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. She tells him to have all the men plug their ears with beeswax Mm -hmm. because the siren's song will hypnotize them. Oh, I think I know this part. Yeah. Um, And will drive them to dash their ship upon the rocks. Why is Cersei being so nice to him? She likes him. But he's dumping her. Hey, big boy. (laughs) Let me tell you something. Are you saying big boy? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said pig boy. (laughs) And that's why he was so funny to me. (laughs) Big boy, whatever. Pig boy was a gummy. I was. I thought you were like pig boy. <laughs> Did you just swear? Yeah, I was like pig boy. It was my dirty boy. <laughs> you. How many knuckles you got? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, big boy. Sorry. Uh, too much pal, Too much knowledge can hurt. Me. Yeah, I can. Okay, but anyway, Cersei tells him to have all the men plug their ears with peace wax. <laughs> sorry. See, isn't it so much more grotesque when you, you think it's pig boy? It's so awful. Because <laughs> she's returning them into pigs. I thought that was the joke. I thought that was it. That I was I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's edgy. It's 
you. I love it. <laughs> but no. <sighs> we can't always get what we want. She's like, if you want to hear the siren song, then have them tie you to the mast and tell them not to release you no matter how much you beg or demand. Why would you want to hear it? What is it? <laughs> fix you by full play? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Amen. You must let me go. <laughs> the song slaps. <laughs> it's a bop. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what page are we on? <laughs> We're on the second last page. It's fine. Oh my god. Okay. He follows her advice, and they get through it all right. Oh. Yeah. Anticlimactic. I right after the happen. sirens, there's a narrow strait to navigate between the sea monster Skilla, a six-headed oh like, God, sea is monster. Is it even worth going home? For <laughs> sake. And Charyb- Charybdis, or Charybdis, a huge-ass whirlpool. Sure. I don't know why it needs a name. Not a huge... It's um, Billy Crystal, but it's Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Avoiding Charybdis is more important, apparently, so they stick close by Scylla's, Scylla's cliffs on the way around, and Scylla naturally, obviously, swallows one crew member per head. Yeah, sure. As we might expect. He has this other trial, which I genuinely barely remember, um, with the cattle of the sun, like the dude, the sun. And Odysseus's men eat the cattle of the sun, so the sun asks Zeus to punish them. Zeus sends a storm, which ends up killing the rest of Odysseus's men. Great. And destroying his ship, so he's just like holding onto a plank of wood. <laughs> <laughs> he's essentially cast away. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and it washes him all the way back past Charybdis to the island of Calypso. So this is where we started. Great. Having finally finished his story, the Phaeacians set him up with a good ship and plenty of supplies. <laughs> They're like, just go home, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> This, this bag full of food, not wind. Right? No wind, look. <laughs> look, look. It's not fucking wind, all right? I'll be real. Just, yeah, let him go home, please. <laughs> At last, he touches down in Ithaca. <gasps> Although, um, like, right after he leaves, Poseidon's like, fuck the Phaeacians, they ruined my plan, and then he, like, sinks their ships. Oh, no. Yeah, poor things. But, you know, whatever. Why can't he just keep sinking what's his face as shit? Well, now he's in Ithaca. Um. He made it. And he walks up to the cottage of one of his loyal swineherds, Eumaeus, on Athena's suggestion. So Athena, she's there now. Again. Oh my Athena, god. No, that's good. Oh no, I thought it was going to be like his wife was fucking the swine handler. No, 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 no. Athena disguises him again, this time as a beggar. So oh. Eumaeus demonstrates his super good manners by taking him in and giving him food. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And he talks a lot about how great his old king was and oh, how he wishes he would come home, but he's probably dead and... Well, Odysseus <laughs> is like... And he, this is Charlie's Angels, like, mask reveal. And it's Drew Barrymore. No, it's Odysseus. No, I was thinking, like, he's just giving long looks into the camera. Like, she looked... I looked, like, like into the camera, like the office. Like the office, yeah. Odysseus just straight up lies to Eumaeus and tells <gasps> him he's from Crete and all this shit about Egypt. Why? He's I don't know. To. Like, yeah, I don't know. I guess he's just having fun. <laughs> have, have fun with it. He was just improv. <laughs> Soon after, Odysseus learns Telemachus is back. He hasn't been ambushed yet, luckily, because Athena warned him about it earlier. Before he left Sparta, Helen also saw an eagle swoop down. Remember how he's like, Helen's probably not going to make it through the Trojan War? Apparently she made it. Yeah, apparently it was just fine. Like She didn't get in any sort of trouble at all. Oh, good for her. Yeah. I think. Oh. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like she doesn't get... <laughs> like she's like, can you pass the potatoes? And, he, and like, then dr- drops them on the floor. <laughs> I just like don't look at her as they like, pass it. Like, <laughs> He's like, can you tell my wife that uh, she can shove as many potatoes as she can fit in her fat mouth? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Helen also saw an eagle swoop down and steal the goose from a pen, and interpreted it as a sign that Odysseus would soon swoop down and kill all of the evil suitors. But she started the Trojan War, so I don't know why anyone would be listening to her. Did you write that down? I did. Great. <laughs> Odysseus and Telemachus hook up. Oh, by the way, Telemachus calls Eumaeus, the swineherd, some kind of honorific that I reckon would translate to something like Pops. Like, pops? hey, Pops. Oh. Except the translation that I have wow. uh, by W.H.D. Rouse, if I recall correctly, translates it to Daddy. Oh, you tell me I have to kink shame Homer now? <laughs> yeah. My God, the list is never ending. <laughs> 
Can't we just say papa? Papa. <laughs> pops. Pops. I like hey, baby pops. pops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just like inhale. You have my name. You'll be my son. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Brent Morin sponsor us. Yeah, Brent Morin. Just go watch him. He's great. Brent Morin. What's the name of the special? Brent Morin. Is it just Brent Morin? Brent Morin. <laughs> <laughs> At first, Telemachus doesn't recognize his daddy, his real daddy, but then Athena makes. Odysseus handsome again, like uh-huh. like himself again, but handsome. I guess I guess he's handsome. And Telemachus is like, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start devising a plan together to kill all of the suitors and regain the throne of Ithaca, right? Sure. So yeah. it is Odysseus rocks up at the palace the next day. Sorry. Sounds fun. Yeah. Some bonding time. He's back in his beggar disguise. The suitors shit on him figuratively, but they tolerate his presence because that's kind of you know you just tolerate beggars and you indulge them. In this culture. And he just hangs around. So his childhood knows... What do you think we do to them now? Well, we don't let them into our houses. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Except that one time at a party in Ivanhoe, <laughs> where that one guy came in that nobody knew. He was just like, nice party! <laughs> and he like, started like, drinking and eating the food. And everyone was like, whose friend is this? <laughs> when was this? <laughs> this is like the goodbye party in Ivanhoe, I think. Like the house cooling? Yeah, I think so. Are you, oh my Every God. time someone who I... Like, who was there that I, like, was Jacob's friend or Simon's friend or someone I didn't know really well. And I, like, meet them again. And they're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Wasn't that the time when that random came in on the street? Where, like, where, everyone knows about it. Where was I? You um, were there. I didn't see the random. I was at the back. I was baby- yeah, yeah. I was babysitting very drunk people. Yeah, that's fair. Anyway. It was not. <laughs> well, I was like, why did I be the drunk people? <laughs> Me. It was cool of you. Not cool for you, but cool of you. It was to not. do that. It was not. Um, are you sure it was a? Are you sure it wasn't just like Ben? No, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was definitely a, a rando. Wow, good for him. I know, like he just took initiative. <laughs> yeah, he has like the opportunities here. I'm not gonna miss it. Yeah, I think he got a couple drinks and some snacks <laughs> before <laughs> everyone was like, "Who are you?" And he was like, "I'm hitting the road." <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so Odysseus is there, and they're like, who are you? And he's like, I know! <laughs> right crazy! <laughs> uh, except his childhood nurse recognizes him by the scar he has from a boar hunting accident. Sure. But he makes her swear to silence by threatening to kill her. That's reasonable. Yeah, and she's like, okay, I love you. <laughs> Get me like, You're so big! <laughs> You've gotten so big! She's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, make sure you get enough food. <laughs> Um, Penelope has a long talk with him and she starts to suspect him of being, you know, her husband. He's like, remember that time we made love? I mean, <laughs> I'm a beggar. I don't know. <laughs> and she's like, who are this? you? And he's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's something my husband would say. Well, husband, <laughs> I'm a beggar. I'm begging. <laughs> Got any chain? <laughs> that's something my husband would say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has this great idea to hold an archery contest. She'll marry whoever can string Odysseus's huge ass bow <laughs> and fire an arrow through a row of 12 axes, which is apparently something that only Odysseus can do. Wow. Everyone gives it a go and fails. Even Telemachus has a go and he's like sheepish and he's like, I guess I'm not as great as my father yet. <laughs> it was like his eyes sparkling like, one day. And he like winks at the beggar like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, then it's Odysseus's turn, and he strings the bow like it ain't no thing. And he <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him as the beggar from um, Hunchback of Notre Dame. The one's like, I'm free! <laughs> and then he gets one of these. Oh, like, dang oh. it. <laughs> Doesn't he go, dang it? Probably. Then it's Odysseus's turn, and he strings the bow like it ain't no thing. Yeah. <laughs> and he fires through all the axes like you guys don't have any more axes. I thought that was funny. And then he... <laughs> That's funny, I've just laughed out. <laughs> That's pig boy really got me. <laughs> it got me. And to find out that you I'm gonna try that on Josh tonight, I'll let you know. <laughs> like be in bed like in sexy lingerie. <laughs> hey, pig boy. <laughs> but you got pig boy. <laughs> just like <laughs> just like really rile him up. <laughs> and he's just like I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who are you? 
And I'd be like, I know! <laughs> I know! Got changed. <laughs> And then he and Telemachus are like, surprise! And they massacre all of the suitors. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Dip. <laughs> um, then Odysseus pulls Penelope close and dips her real low. And he remembers, like, sorry I'm late or something. And they make out. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> sorry I'm ten years late, babe. <laughs> babe. Odysseus goes and he meets up with his aging father, Laertes. Has he been turned back into hot Odysseus? Yeah, yeah, he's normal hot Odysseus. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the families of the suitors are about to launch a revenge attack but the gods clear that up real quick quick and peace is restored to Ithaca and that is the end of the story I'll give you yeah it was way more interesting than yeah Troy different stuff happens right like it's just it's more it's, it's, it's kind of funny it's it's like <laughs> one man's journey question mark <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like how important is it for him to get home very apparently <laughs> He could just settle down with that witch. Yeah, but he was crying all the time. <laughs> oh wait, no, there were two. There were like two witches. Well, the one he was crying one with witch. Calypso, and he yeah. wasn't. He wasn't crying with the pig boy one. <laughs> pig, pig girl. <laughs> he liked it. That's that was his pig queen. <laughs> <laughs> And golf clubs, they'd be so small. <laughs> yeah. And the balls would even be, be smaller. Tiny. And the putt. Oh my god, the brains of sand. Oh my god, the little, <laughs> little hand. Oh. <laughs> little sweater vest. Oh my god. <laughs>